Japanese, but there has to be one because everyone feels pressure. And the fourth ball, strike three called. See, that was a pitch that they six today to regain yeah. the lead. Five to four, New York. Lugo on the high hop throws out Jeter. Two down. Three and two, the count. This, the fourth ball struck him out. His seventh strikeout in seven innings. But he and the Red Sox are trailing. Manny Ramirez, J.D. Drew, Mike Lowell coming up. Proctor got into 83 games last year. Leading the American League in that category. Become a very reliable pitcher. And he's, he's a workhorse. This is his 12th game of the year in the Yankees' chase right. Fastball. That's a base hit to right. Well, he kept him in the yard. But that'll bring up J.D. Drew, who's also homer tonight. And we're going to go to the studio for a Sports Center 30 at 30 update with Dave Revson. The Proctor. There's another one. Toward the wall. But it's, is it going to make it? Yeah. Scrapes off the bottom of the wall. Cabrera plays the carom. Manny to third. A double for J.D. Drew and Fenway Park. The friendly new home for J.D. Drew. Just a high fly ball. And it's scraped off that wall. Well, he took second and third. Nobody out. Low crushes one. Toward the wall. And off the top of the wall and over the wall. A home run. Yankees now. Well, Scott Proctor, maybe all of that activity caught up to him, Joe, and kind of foreshadowed by, by Peter Gammons, who said the Yankees were very concerned that their bullpen, Masao Morooka. He got pretty excited, it sounded like to me. Cano throws out Veritek. That's the first out of the seventh inning. Veritek, who has not often been retired in this series, batted in for the year. The slider and another strikeout. And the opinion, he's been seeing a steady diet of those tonight. He struck out three straight times. For start. Pedroia, he's got his second hit. The rookie second baseman who came into the game, hitting only 158, just swung the bat well tonight, a single and a double. Pedroia runs from first, and he walks him. Sinking fastball to miss. And he, two and one. To Jeter. Over to Cano for the force out on Lugo, and the inning is over. Big Poppy stranded on deck. Alex Rodriguez, and then Jason Giambi. Robinson Cano, power coming up for the Yankees. Nice tonight is on deck. Two and two. Fastball, and base hit. Good hitting there by A Rod, and that extends his hitting streak. I don't think he's got a hit in every ball game they've had this year face this year in Kansas City and he's been lights out ever since. Well, John, what uh, pitching coach John Farrell found was even though he just showed fastball curveball in spring training, he noticed him throwing this odd change up. Third straight day. Ooh, popped up. And uh, they had the shift out for Giambi, so at shortstop is Lowell. The wind carries it and he has to go back to backhanded. Although I think they would have gotten somebody out. Singled and scored a run on the sixth. Runner going. The ball is into left center field. Coco Crisp can't get to it. A-Rod was getting ready to leave second base and go back to first, and the ball just fell in front of Crisp, and Cano gets his second hit. They're not running. And ball four. The bases are loaded. <laughs> On Sports Center, right after the game. There's the former Angels right-hander, Brendan Donnelly. Pretty good numbers, but he's been used differently by Terry Francona. He rarely goes in for an inning. He's usually in for a matchup here. You know what? They won the game. The first base, Euclidus. They get one. Lugo will not attempt two, and he is arguing with the umpire, Randy Marsh, that the runner, Cairo, went out of the baseline, and it should be an automatic double play. Well, he could tag the bag because I was watching him. He slid wide. They hit it right here. Two on, two out. 
And a great play by Pedroia. The side is retired. Josh Phelps hit a screamer, headed for center and a tie game. And Pedroia with a diving interception to end the inning. And Matsuzaka can still win this one. Leading the cheers, 7-6, Red Sox. Out in front, do you see Hen's numbers? Been in eight games. He's done a pretty good job. He's the sixth Boston or uh, Yankee pitcher of the game. Speaking of Boston, and J.D. Drew to follow. Left center. And Melky Cabrera. Everything to left field in the air has threat to the Yankees. Manny with his third hit of the night. Well, he said he was going to get hot tonight, and I have to agree. He is swinging the bat very, very well. He got himself a double in that three-run rally. Alex Rodriguez is going to go after Drew at first in time. And Manny moves up to second. One-run game. Ball four. Two men on, two men out. Baratek coming up. And let's go to Sports Center for a 30-30 update with Dave Revson. And it's one for three with a walk in the game. Right to Jeter. Over to Cano for the force out on Lowell. Just like that, the inning is over. 12 left on with the Red Sox. Now Papelbon should be popping through that bullpen gate here momentarily. We would guess with Damon, Jeter, and Abreu due up. Alex Rodriguez due fourth as he was yesterday when Papelbon came in. 7-6 Boston, and here comes Papelbon. The eighth inning on Sunday Night Baseball. Most of the time this year, he's been almost untouchable. Well, he's got such great stuff. I mean, he's got two out pitches, a great fastball and the splitter. I mean, he can throw either one, and he can handle any hitter in this league. Do it to the count. Another splitter. There is Manny Ramirez. One away. Away from a sweep of the Yankees. Now, one out away. I mean, he just... With two with two down. And he walked him. He went with the fastball, but out of the strike zone. And Abreu keeps the Yankees going. High fastball. There's Lowell. Over to Pedroia. Forcing Abreu. And the Red Sox, for the first time in 17 years, sweep the Yankees at Fenway Park. They had to come from behind in all three games to do it. And tonight they had to equal history with four consecutive home runs in one inning to do it. But do it they did. And Matsuzaka, for the record, the first time he faces the Yankees, beats the Yankees with considerable help. Considerable help. Our Chevrolet player of the game is from one of the guys who helped make it happen. Mike Lowell, two home runs, four runs, batted in in recognition of his outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to Major League Baseball's youth outreach program, reviving baseball in inner cities. So the Red Sox take the measure of the Yankees three in a row with their three best, Schilling, Beckett, and Matsuzaka. And every game of battle tonight, they do it 7-6 to six. Fenway Park. Stay tuned now. Sports Center is coming up next. Now for Joe Morgan and Peter Gannon. This is John Miller saying good night to you from Fenway Park. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.